the next song that we are going to listen to is... Oh, dang. Oh, dang. What is it? What is it? It's going to be Wonderland Indonesia. Wonderland Indonesia number two. Okay. Guys, I don't know if you guys joined me yesterday for Wonderland Indonesia number one, which was released on Indonesian Independence Day. Again, a very happy Independence Day to you guys. Freedom is wonderful, just like independence. But... I was actually really, really, really blown away when I saw it. And I don't know if it was a matter of just, you know, being captivated by the many different things that uh, Alfie Rev was capable of. It was very cool to see how high fidelity the, the videography and stuff was. Uh, a lot of cool animation stuff. But I think one of the uh, one of the things about it was it just had this energy of kind of of, of love, you know, like of overcoming things, of forward progression. Uh, while acknowledging, uh, you know, and, you know, again, I recognize I don't understand the lyrics, but so many of the things I learned about it came through the comments. So I would please ask, give me uh, the rundown of what I'm about to watch. Clearly, I don't speak uh, the language that we're likely about to hear outside of a, a few bits and pieces that uh, were in English in the video yesterday. So uh, we're going to hop into this. We are going to uh, check it out. Be amazed. We're going to learn something and uh, we're going to support our friends in Indonesia. Guys, before I hit the play button, it's very important to me that you know that you are awesome, that you are valuable, that you are important, that you matter, that you're deserving of love, and that I'm abundantly grateful for even a moment of your time. If you like what you see, feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button. It goes a long way to help me out. If you really like what you see, join us on Twitch. Those people over there are wonderful. We just want you to know that you belong somewhere and we would be happy if you uh, came to hang with us. Guys, without further ado, Wonderland Indonesia 2, the sacred new Sinatra. Let's go. I will say, when I say the sacred new Sinatra, that makes me feel like it's a comic book based on a reincarnated Frank Sinatra. I know that's not what it is. I'm just telling you phonetically that's how it came out of my mouth and how my brain processed it. The graphic stuff looks so good. I don't know if I'm just wowed because I have a good like monitor, but this is... Like, tell me this isn't vibrant AF. These little things are cute. for Indonesia's independence. I, is it just me or do they got angry birds in there? That this looks so cool. I like it. I know I keep pausing it and forgive me, but it reminds me of something I would see David Attenborough narrate, like just between the, you know, the wildlife, the, the really high intense images, like, and she's beautiful. <laughs> It's new sun, new. It sounds like she says she says new Sancha land, but I'm here. I'm I'm reading it as new Sinatra. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a beautiful land. 
which everything in it lived peacefully. She spent all her time in the depth of a forest with her eight little friends. There was a hidden secret place, so magical and dangerous at the same time. This is so cool. I really like this. This is the story where the culture had start. And now, let me take you on a journey. So welcome to Wonderland Indonesia, the sacred Nusantara. Nusantara, okay. I am incredibly, incredibly bad at pronunciation. to the place where he's DJing. This is Lynn, let's go. <laughs> Can somebody tell me what a Kesek is? K-E-C-A-K. -E synth work animation studios in indonesia are lit instrument this is like a 30 string guitar this is so cool somebody tell me what that is and raiders what is up rick shiv it's fantastic to see you in yours how they they threw his or her window no seriously can when, will somebody it looked like a round harp i'm having like that was maybe one of the coolest instruments i've ever seen with my eyeballs and i like i really want to know what that thing is called that thing was lit it was like you could turn that into a cannon if you wanted to you know what i mean <laughs>
is cool because the last one didn't have this kind of stuff, right? Like it didn't have like, as I perceived, like attention or a conflict uh, piece to it. It was just kind of like the cool music video and scenery. But this thing feels like it's coming with a storyline. I feel like it's Genshin Impact meets like Planet Earth uh, with a female narrator and set in Indonesia. Like this is so cool. <laughs> They got the Gila monster to play in this? That's awesome! <laughs> Yo, Start the Fire was pretty lit. That dude's rap bar like part went hard. I'm impressed with it. <laughs> If there was a live action Pokemon film, whoever did this particular videography and, and, and work needs to be the ones that uh, do the studio work for the live action Pokemon movie. Point blank and period. What they're doing with these little characters, that would be acceptable to any live action Pokemon fan for sure. For absolute shizzle. Uh, and yeah, the Indonesian cinematic universe is something that I have apparently dramatically 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 overlooked this is amazing <laughs> That was okay. So I yeah, this feels very much like Pokemon, uh, and I say that in the best way possible. Um, I don't know the lore of, of dragons or, or anything like this, but yes, this looks like he cast Hyper Beam, and it's awesome. Um, <laughs> Also, this guitar he's playing, uh, this guy's wailing. I, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. And I like how many different genres this is encapsulated. <laughs> He burned the forest down to the ground. I think that this is a really wonderful way to refer to your 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 fallen country people like you have remembered dear flowers of our nation like that's a, that's a very eloquent way to put it
this dude's got a piece now. He's ready to go. Is that Alfie with the trident? in the back it's like it's like a like a like it's not a chime bell though it's like a tink bell <laughs> I'm just here to tell you, if you want to get uh, an American excited, you show an eagle flying in the air, and I'm going to jump out of this seat. <laughs> At another time, a girl will unearth the civilization that has been buried deep for so long. <laughs> this is making me so happy. Now it's got kind of like an Inuyasha sort of twist to it, maybe. See you on that day. So, okay, just for perspective, this video was so high fidelity that it was realistically um, 11 minutes and, you know, a tight 12. Let's call it a tight 12. Four additional minutes of credits. Four additional minutes of credits because, again, one of the most high fidelity things I've ever seen. This was way better than the first one, and I really enjoyed the first one. That was awesome. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it absolutely felt like four minutes. That was right. And, you know, it seemed like there were so many different influences, right? Like the trident from um, several different places. Well, you, you could call it Aquaman. You could call it Little Mermaid, whatever you want to do, right? You had the eagles, like uh, kind of like the Lord of the Rings sort of flying birds, right? You had, uh, you, you, you had like the Pokemon little things or the Angry Bird little things. You, you kind of had like Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh looking dragons um that was really 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 cool and if you're a guy like me or a gal like uh like uh me that 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 watches anime or consumes like action cartoons like this had so many different things to be excited about and they incorporated it into like clearly clearly we knew it was graphic work right but like they incorporated it into live action so well that I think as far as as far as a music video goes, that might have actually been the cleanest one I've ever seen. But the combination of the of the planet Earth footage with the overlay of all of that different uh, different editing stuff was amazing. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm absolutely mega blown away. 
that was really great. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for the positivity that you show both to me and one another. Again, a very happy Independence Day to Indonesia or belated Independence Day now. Uh, and stay tuned because I'm absolutely going to be doing part three. I saw that it dropped yesterday. So uh, I will likely be getting to that uh, sometime in the beginning of next week. I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Be the best. Goodbye.